Quick, Tyrese, hand me the hammer. I got these things. We gotta go. There are too many walkers. We need to go find a Rick and Daryl. They're behind the board. There's no way we're getting back to them. Not yet, anyways. I see a school. Let's go over there. Maybe we can hold up for a while. Fine, right, let's go. This place seems quiet. There are no walkers. Hey, check the lights. Hey! Yeah, you. Uh, gentlemen, please. The name's Isaiah King. I'm a science teacher. I'm just waiting for this to blow over. This won't end. Nature's taking over. Now and forever, we're just gonna survive until we can't. Look, just put down the hammers. Life always finds a way. I'll tell you a story. In the first two eons of the Earth's history, the Hadean and the Archeon, the Earth was consumed in fire and smoke and bombarded by asteroids. But 2.5 billion years ago, a new eon started, uh, the Protozoic Eon. We're not here for a lecture. I'm aware of that, but please listen to me. This is important. At the very beginning of the Protozoic Eon, the anaerobic life forms that had evolved before then all started to die off as the oxygen percentage reached 10%. Immediately afterwards, an ice age hit, and all of the plants and the algae that had evolved before then died as well. And then after that, the, te the temperature of the Earth went from 10 degrees Fahrenheit to 112 degrees Fahrenheit in a very, very short period of time. Somehow, though, multicellular life survived in the Neopic protozoic. Us. Not us. Uh, soft body organisms. Right, check that out. All right. Jellyfish. Life can survive massive ice ages, global poison gas, asteroid bombardment, and even a point when there literally was no atmosphere, I think they can survive a couple of million walking dead. On the second thought, 